Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing matrix and determinant norms. And in last lecture, we had discussed about the transpose of matrix and their characteristics as well. Today, we are going to discuss uh, about some more characteristics in algebra of matrices that is product of two matrices. So, two matrices are conformal for product there are certain characteristics and let us discuss what are those. So, we are going to discuss today the product of matrices. Product of matrices. So, what is the characteristics? There is a condition that when two matrices are conformal for product. So, we can write here that let if a and B, A and B are any two matrices, any two matrices, then they are conformal for product, conformal for product AB, for product AB, if the number of columns, number of columns in A, columns in A must be equal to, equal to the number of rows in B, number of rows in B. So, this is the condition and what is the condition that two matrices A and B are conformal for product AB if the number of columns in A must be equal to number of rows in B. So, condition is that CR must be same, CR must be same, right? Column of first and row of second must be same, then only they are conformal for product. So, conformal for product AB. Similarly, they are conformal for product BA if and only if the number of column in B must be equal to number of rows in A. Similarly, conformal for product AB, BA. Similarly, conformal for product for product BA if the number of columns in number of columns in B must be equal to must be equal to the number of rows in A. So, A, B and B A are two entirely different product. They cannot be considered same. B A and A, B are entirely different. They have a different characteristics and on the basis of the characteristics we can define whether they are conformal for product AB or BA. It means sometimes their possibility that product AB or BA, any one of them are conformal and other may not be conformal. We can explain this with examples here. Number of columns in A must be equal to number of rows in B. So, number of columns in B must be equal to number of rows in A. So, CR must be same. CR must be same. This is the condition and condition is that that CR must be same. Right. So, condition is this. What is the rule? A rule for product is just opposite to this and rule is RC means rows into column. Rows multiply by rows multiplied by multiplied by corresponding elements of columns corresponding elements of columns elements of columns right now? so this is the rule and uh, let me explain with some example that uh, let a be any matrix a this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like this. And B is a matrix of order 0, 1, 2, minus 1. 
Now, what is the order of A? Order of A is 2 into 3. And what is the order of B? 2 into 2. They are not conformal for addition because in addition we have discussed that they must be of same order. Their order must be same. But in here, the order is not necessary to be same, but the number of columns in first must be equal to number of rows in second. So whether A, B is conformal or not, A, B for number of columns in A is 3. Here, the number of columns in A is 3 and number of rows in B is 2. So they are not same and therefore A, B is not conformal for product. Since number of columns in A is not equal to number of rows in B, rows in B and therefore A, B is product A, B is not conformal. Product A, B is not conformal. Right? They are not conformal for product A, B. A, B is not possible. But we are looking whether B, A is conformal or not. So, B, A is conformal. Yes. Because number of columns in B is 2 and number of rows in A is 2. So, product B, A is conformal. B, A is conformal. And therefore, we can write here 0, 1, 2, minus 1, B and A, that is 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, 7 and that product is possible. So, what is the rule? The rule is rows multiply by column. So, what need to write? 0 multiply by 2 is and 1 multiply by 4. 1 multiply by 4. First row, second column, then 0 multiply by 3 plus 1 multiply by 5. And first row, third column, 0 multiply by 6 plus 1 multiply by 7. Right? So, this is what first row, first column. Second row, first column, 2 into 2 plus 4 into minus 1. 2 into 3 plus minus 1 into 5, 5 into minus 1, 2 into 6 plus minus 1 into 7 or 7 into minus 1, the same thing. So, it can be written as here, 0 into 2 is 0, 4 into 1 is 4, just I am writing uh, as a learner and this Later one, we will skip these, all these steps. 0, 7 into 1 is 7, 2 into 2 is 4, minus 4, 4 minus 4, and 3 into 2, 6 minus 5, and then 6 to 12 minus 7. So finally, it will come up like uh, 4, 5, 7, 0, 1, and 5. And this is the order of product BA. So, BA is conformal and what is the order of BA? 2 into 3. That means whatever is left here 2 and uh, this is BA 2 and 3. This one is same 2 and 3 are left. So, order will be 2 into 3. For BA, these two are same and these 2 and 3 are left. So, 2 and 3 are the order of matrix. So, here B A is conformal and the product output is 4, 5, 7, 0, 1, 5 that is 2 into 3. So, uh, we can understand here that uh, not necessarily that A B and B A both are conformal for product. Sometimes A B is conformal and B A is not conformal. Sometimes B A is conformal, A B is not conformal. Sometimes both are conformal. But uh, even then, both of them are conformal, but they are not equal. Sometimes both of them are not conformal. For example, uh, A matrix is of order 2 into 2 and B matrix is of order 3 into 3. So neither A, B is conformal nor B A is conformal, isn't it? Suppose A is a matrix of order 2 into 2, A, I, J, any matrix of order 2 into 2. 
and V is a matrix of order B i j of order 3 into 3. So in this case, neither A B is conformal nor B A is conformal. Number of columns in A uh, must be equal to number of rows in B that is not possible and number of columns in B must be equal to number of rows in B A that is also not conformal. So here A B is not conformal. A B is not conformal. Product. A B is not conformal for product or product and B A is also not conformal where B A is not conformal for product. So neither A B nor B A is conformal for product. Right? So not necessarily that these are always conformal for product. Sometimes they are conformal and sometimes they are not conformal. Let us consider some other example where they are conformal or not we can easily understand. A is a matrix of order. 2, 3, 5, minus 1, 0, 6 and B is a matrix of order 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 2 like this. Now here the order of the matrix is 2 into 3 and there is an order of 3 into 2. Although they have a different order but here A, B is conformal. Why? Because number of columns is equal to number of rows in B. So A, B and B, A both are conformal. Here, A, B and B, A, A, B and B, A and B, A, both are conformal for product, are conformal for product, for product, right, now? product, as they satisfy the conditions. So now, let us calculate what is A, B and what is B, A. So let me calculate this. What is AB? AB is what? So for AB, we can write 2, 3, 5, minus 1, 0, 6. And B, I can write here 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. We have to multiply first row, first column, corresponding element. Means 2 multiply by 2, 3 multiply by 0, 5 multiply by minus 1. So, 2 into 2 plus 3 into 0 plus 5 into minus 1. First row, second column. So, again it will be 2 into minus 1 plus 3 into 1 and plus 5 into 2. Right? So, that will come. Similarly, here second row, first column can be minus 1 into 2 minus 1 into 2 plus 0 into 0 into 1 plus 6 into 1 right and minus 1 into minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 plus 0 into 1 that is uh, 0 and 6 into 2 is 12 6 into 2 that is plus sign here it must be plus sign so 6 into so that will come up like uh, here 4 plus 0 plus 5 then minus 2 plus 3 plus 10 right and then minus 2 plus 0 plus 6 then 1 plus 0 plus 12 so answer will be like 9 and 11 and this is 4 and 12 and 13. So that will be answer. Answer will be 2 into 2. So here our first order is of 2 into 3 and 3 into 2. The output is 2 into 2. The condition is number of columns in A is 3 and number of rows in B is 3. So what is the remaining order? 2 into 2. Similarly, if we are going for a product B A, then what will happen? Let us see. For B A, the condition is B I need to write. So here we have to find the product B A and B A is what? How to calculate? 2 into 2 that is 4 minus 1 into minus 1 is 1. I can write directly, skipping the middle term, what we have written earlier one. 2 into 3 that is 6. 
प्लस माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो इज जीरो टू इंटू फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कर सो फर्स्ट रो एंड थर्ड कर टू इंटू फाइव इज टेन माइनस वन इंटू सिक्स इज माइनस सिक्स सो दैट इज माइनस सिक्स राइट आई कैन राइट माइनस सिक्स डायरेक्टली नाउ सिमिलरली सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम जीरो इंटू टू इज जीरो and 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 0 into 3 is 0 one into 0 is 0 second row third column 0 into 5 is 0 1 into 6 is 6 third row first column is this place third row first column is this place so we need to write here only 1 into 2 is 2 and 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 1 into 3 is 3 Two into zero is zero, and now one into five is five, and two into six is twelve. So output will be like the output is product output will be five, six, four, minus one, zero, six, and zero, three, and seventeen. So that will be output of three into three order, and that will be the answer. So here A B was output of A B was two into two order, and here the B A is three into three order. So obviously there is no comparison; they are of not same order. So although A B and B A both are conformal for product, but they are not equal. So it is not necessary that A B and B A are equal. Here, A B is not equal to B A. So simply, one can compare with it. Um, it is not like an algebraic product that two into three is six and three into two is also six. So here in matrices, if product A B and B A are conformal, they may not be equal. They may be equal by chance, but not necessarily always. Right now, so. This is the product of matrices. I hope you got it. Now let me explain one example of what the characteristics I have already discussed. That uh, if a is equal to say right question, if a is equal to say three, four, minus one, and zero, and b is equal to two minus one, one, four. Prove that. Prove that A B transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. Like simple uh, one is a matrix uh, I have taken of order two into two just for sake of simplicity. You can prove it for any kind of matrices. There is no problem at all. And uh, here, what is that? Let us uh, explain it. A B is equal to. First of, I am going to find out the product A B. B minus one four zero and two minus one one four. Product output will be three into two first row first column three into two six and minus one multiply by one is minus one. Three into minus one is minus three and minus one multiply by four is minus four. Four into two is eight second row first column and zero into one is zero. Four into minus one is minus four and zero into Four is zero, so product output will be here five minus seven, eight, and minus four. Now A B transpose is equal to transpose of A B H. What output will come? First row to be right in first column, and second row in second column. So that will come, and this is equation one. Now this is the L H S right, and uh, We have to go for RHS as well. That is B transpose and A transpose, and then we need to multiply. So two B transpose is two minus one. B transpose is equal to two minus one, two minus one, and one four, and one four, like this. And A transpose is equal to what? A transpose is nothing else but three minus one four zero. Three minus one and four zero. Now, if I am looking for the product B transpose A transpose, 
then what will come? First row to be multiplied by first column. 3 into 2 is 6. 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. And now 2 into 4 8. And 1 into 0 is 0. Now minus 1 into 3 minus 3. And 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. Now minus 1 into 4 is minus 4. And 4 into 0 is 0. And what is the product output? That is 6 minus 1 is 5, 8, minus 7 and minus 4. So B transpose, A transpose is like this. And what is that here? 5, 8, minus 7, 4. 5, 8, minus 7, minus 4. So the same thing is coming from first and second. So we can say that from first and second, from first and second, we can prove that. A B transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. Learners can take some examples from books and study materials and they can prove there are so many questions are there. So of the similar type, so they can practice questions well for this kind of product. Right? I hope you got it. Right now? Okay. So this is what the product of matrices. Now we can see one more important characteristics in multiplication of matrices that a into i plus i is equal to i into a is equal to a. And this is what uh, another properties. This is the properties of with identity elements properties. And i is the identity matrix means uh, similar like uh, if any number is multiplied by one, then number has no problem. Similarly, identity matrix is the such matrix which multiply to any matrix and there will be no change. Let us uh, prove this why this happened. So, we can take one example and prove it uh, for sake of convenience in calculation. I can take just a matrix of order 2, 3, 2, 3, uh, minus 1, 4 like this. Right now, A must be any square matrix. And identity matrix must be of order same 1, 0, 0, 1. Right now? So that can be product is possible. I A into I. So A into I. Even uh, this can be 3 into 2. Let us check it also. But uh, here, just let me find the product A I. A I is what? First row, first column. So 2 into 1 is 2. And 3 into 0 is 0. Similarly, second row, first row, second column, that is 0 and 3 into 1 is 3. Second row, first column, that is minus 1 into 1, minus 1 and 4 into 0 is 0. Second row, second column, so that will be 0 and 4 into 1, 4. So, what is output? Output is 2, 3, minus 1, 4. Output is same, which is equal to A. Similarly, if I can find the product A into I, even then also, this will be same. 1, 0, 0, 1. And A is nothing else but 2, 3, minus 1, 4. We can find the product minus 1 into 2 is 2 and 0 into minus 1 is 0. 1 into 3 is 3 and 0 into 4 is 0. 0 into 2 is 0 and 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. And 0 into 3 is 0 and 1 into 4 is 4. So that will be also similar like 2, 3, minus 1 and 4. So which is also A. So whether A into I or I into A, the product will remain unchanged. So for any matrix H. Now you may think that whether A is square matrix. Can it be any other matrix also? Yes, it can be, but product is always not conformal. Say, if I would take here matrix 2, 3, minus 1, 4, and say, say, I am taking here 1, 0, right? 1, 0. So, this is a matrix of order what? 3 into 2. 
and B is a matrix identity matrix I is a identity matrix I have taken here uh, of order 1 into 1 say 1001 0, 0, 1, right so number of columns in A must be equal to number of rows in B so A I is conformal although I E A is not conformal but whether A I is I A or not let me check A into I what will come 2 into 1 that is 2, 3 into 0 is 0, 2 into 0 is 0 and 3 into 3 into 1 is 3. Now minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 and 4 into 0 is 0, minus 1 0 and 4 into 1 is 4. Now 1 into 1 is third row first column 1 plus 0 into 0 that is 0 and 0 plus 1 is also 0. So in that case this will be 2, 3, minus 1, 4, 1, 0 and that is neither equal to A. Is it equal to A? Yes, is it equal to A? This is equal to A. So, A into I is A. In all cases, 2, 3, minus 1, 4, 1, 0. So, A into I, wherever they are conformal, that will be A. But here, I A is not conformal. So, I into A, number of columns in A, I must be equal to number of rows in A, that is not conformal. So, A into I is equal to A in all cases. You can believe it and you can judge it. A into I is equal to I into A, but only when they are confirmed. If A B, but better to write, if A B any square matrix, a square matrix, then A I is equal to I A is equal to A, where I B is identity matrix identity matrix right so this is a point to remember you may memorize it a into i is equal to i into a is equal to a and what about i into i so therefore also i into i is not i square but i because i multiply by any matrix will remain same so, if i into i is also i, there is no problem in it. Remember this. So, we can say i square is i itself. i square is i. Similarly, i q is also i. There is no problem. So, whatever the power of i may be, i n is i. Or n is any integer. Got it? So, similar like we can Solve some other questions as well. Now, uh, before moving ahead, I would like to uh, tell one question which is usually uh, come as a polynomial. So, uh, polynomial like question is if A, B A is a matrix given, there is a question that A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 3, minus 2, 1, 4, and then prove that a q minus 23 a minus 40 i is equal to 0. So we have to, this is an algebraic polynomial which we have to uh, uh, prove that a is satisfying this algebraic polynomial. So for this we will first find out what is a square. a square is nothing else but a to a. So we can write it like. So the product output will be here. Uh, we can write it directly. 1 into 1 is 1 plus first 2 into 3 is 6 plus 3 into 4 is 12. First row, second column that is 2 plus minus 4 plus 3 into 2 is 6. And first row, third column that is 3 plus 2 plus 3. And second row, first column that is 3 into 1, 3 minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 6. And 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. 3 into 2 is 6 plus minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 and 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 
now third second row third column 3 into 3 is 9 and minus 2 multiplied by 1 is minus 2 and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 now 4 into 1 is 4 and uh, 2 into 3 is 6 plus 4 into 1 4 now 4 into 2 8 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4 and 1 into 2 is 2 and there the third one third row third column 4 into 3 is 12, 2 into 1 is 2 and this 1 into 1 is 1. So final output will be what? Output will be this one 19, output will be 19 and 6 to 8 minus 4 is 4 and 8 and there will be 4 plus 3 7 minus 6 is 1 6 plus 4 10 minus plus 2 12 and 9 minus 2 7 plus 1 8 and 4 4 8 and 6 14 and 8 plus 2 10 minus 4 is 6 and 12 to 14 and 1 15 right so that will come so similarly when we have to find a q a q is nothing else but a square into a so a square is uh, 19, 1, 14, 4, 12, 6, 8, 8 and 15 and what about a? A was uh, I have written. Okay, this is so uh, we can multiply again here and uh, see this uh, what will come. The product output will be here see. 19 into 1 is 19 plus 4 into 3 is 12 plus 8 into 4 32 and 19 into 2 is 38 4 into 2 is minus 8 and 8 into 2 is 16 19 into 3 is 57 and 4 into 1 is 4 and 8 into 1 is 8 so 1 into 1 is 1 12 into 3 36 plus 8 into 4 32 now 1 into 2 is 2, 12 into 2 minus 24 and 8 into 2 is 16. Then again 1 into 3 is 3 and 12 into 1 is 12 and 8 into 1 is 8. Similarly 14 into 1 is 14 and 6 into 3 is 18 and 15 into 4 is 16. Similarly, 14 into 2 is 28, 6 into 2 is 12, minus 12, and 15 into 2 is 30. Similarly, 14 into 3 is 42, plus 6 into 1 is 6, and 15 into 1 is 15. If I will calculate all this, then what will come? See, the output will be then, so that is after reading all this, this will come. Now 23A is what? So 23 times of matrix A and A is what? Uh, matrix A was given here. 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1 and 4, 2, 1. 4, 2, 1. So 4, 2, 1. So that will come. Now, if you multiply by 23, this will be 23, 46, 69, and 23, 3 just, and 96, 69, and minus 46, and 23, 1 just, 23, and 23, 4 just, 92, 23, 2 just, 46, and 23, 1 just, 23. Now, putting all these value expression, we will have, therefore, a q minus 23 a minus 40 i is equal to a q is 63 46 69 69 minus 6 23 92 46 63 minus 23 i is nothing else but 23 46 69 69 minus 46 23 92 46 23 and 40 i 40 i is nothing else but 40 0 0 0 40 0 0 0 40 and what is output let us see 
63 minus 40 minus 23 is 63, so it will be 0. So all will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so finally we can write it 0. That is a 0 matrix. You can find anywhere that will come, right? So 23 minus 23, 0. 92 minus 92, 0. 46 minus 46, 0. And 63 minus 23 is 40 minus 40, 0. So finally 0 and that has been verified. So, similar type of this expression may be asked and uh, in school examination and this will be also useful for finding inverse of matrix that will be discussed later on. So, fully you got it, right? You got it the whole things and how to deal with such questions and what is the product of matrices and what are their characteristics. So, all this has been discussed and um, hopefully you got this. So, practice well before doing any other questions and we will uh, see you after the break and uh, there will be some other properties we will discuss later on. So thank you, thank you very much. God bless.